My hair is a holly show, so let's review some products by Aveda. If you're new to my channel and if you're not, welcome back. I'm Mike. I'm who? I'm a hairdresser, a L'Oreal colour specialist, a makeup fan and a skincare lover. In today's film, we're going to be trying out and reviewing some hair products by Aveda. So if you want to sit with me on this one and find out whether Aveda is good or it's a heap of dirt, then you better keep on watching. What is the story everyone? In today's film we're going to be trying out Aveda products and I actually did have the pleasure to work with Aveda many many moons ago but it was so long ago that I actually don't really remember whether the products were good or bad. Now what is Aveda? Aveda is a professionally luxurious brand and it is vegan and cruelty free. Aveda is a brand that cares for the world that we live in so everything is all about sustainability and being natural. Their products are mainly from naturally derived ingredients and they're manufactured by wind power. It was the first beauty company to use post-consumer recyclables so all their packaging is made from recyclable materials so I mean props to you Aveda Bravo and they do care for the earth. Right let's not get things confused Aveda is not 100% natural because some of the ingredients do contain like sulfates and silicones but mainly their products do contain naturally derived ingredients. Right you guys, so I have a few products that Aveda sent to me and I'm going to try them out and we're going to find out whether they're good or they're hate but dirt. And we're going to start things slightly different than what we normally do and the first product I will be trying out from Aveda is Shampoo Dry Shampoo. Now for those who know me and watch me you know that I'm not really a fan of dry shampoo and I really want to try this product as a styling product. But when I looked at my hair today, I was like, oh, let's actually try out a dry shampoo because it's been a hot minute. This dry shampoo is 99% natural and I am quite impressed because I did look at the ingredient list and we did have ingredients like cornstarch and oat and most of the ingredients are very natural. This shampoo contains 25 flower and plant essences and it is non-aerosol dry shampoo. So I'm very excited because there's no mist. So I mean, it's less harmful for our bodies. So it really puffs out and that's what non-aerosol really means. I think that would be good as a styling product. Like you could nearly compare it to like the dust if that makes sense. But let's try it out and see what it's like as a dry shampoo. This product retails for 28 euro which to me is a bit steep. Especially when we only get 56 grams of products. But I mean it is natural. So you guys let's try this out in my hair and see how it performs as a dry shampoo so you gently shake that okay gently okay and let's oh it smells gorgeous let's puff this out first and see how it goes oh you puff it out this way ah now it makes sense so you don't press it you actually puff that out and it smells absolutely beautiful on it so so that kind of reminds me of like dust The scent is really, really pleasant. Now, does my hair feel cleaner? I mean, it looks decent. But is it worth 28 euro? Now, I mean, it's doing the job and I mean, the essence, the shampoo scent is absolutely stunning. I do like the idea that it's non-aerosol, so it's less harmful for our body. But uh, I still do find it hard to use. But overall, I mean, even on my blonde bit and on my dark bits, it's actually not staining the color. And my hair actually does look a lot more cleaner and a lot more decent. So, I mean, so far, so good. We tried out a dry shampoo, so now it's time to wash my hair. And today for washing my hair, I'm going to be using Botanical Repair by Aveda. So Botanical Repair, it's their newest range. And starting off with what is Botanical Repair? Botanical Repair is for hair that is damaged and it's a bond strengthening shampoo, conditioner. There is a heat protector and a mask. So this is the shampoo and the shampoo has 200 mils and it retails for 31 euro. 31 euro for 200 mils of shampoo. I do think it's a bit steep if you ask me. And unless this product is doing magic, then 
yeah, will have it. But I mean, 31 euro is a bit steep. This shampoo is going to strengthen, repair and strengthen your bonds. So it's perfect for anyone that's hair is weakened, hair that is colored, over processed bleach. So I mean, if you can see my hair is quite bleached, so that's going to be perfect like that. It's just going to strengthen that hair. Also, this shampoo is going to cleanse the scalp, cleanse the buildup and pollution from the hair. Also, this shampoo is weightless shampoo, so it's not meant to be very heavy and it is for all hair types. It is 94% naturally derived and it is color safe. So, I am really, really excited to try this product out. It is sulfate, silicone and paraben free. So, I am I am all up for silicone free. Now, I mean sulfates don't really bother me, so let's smell this first. And it smells absolutely beautiful. It smells very natural. Smells very spa-like. Like, if you think... Like, what this smell reminds me of is, like, think of being, like, on a retreat. If that makes sense. Like, if you're on, like, a hell buzz or retreat, that's how it smells. The smell is absolutely beautiful. So, we also get a mask. And in the mask, we get 150 mils for 42 euro. 42 euro for 150 mils of product. To me, I think that's way too expensive. We only get 150 mils of product. Now, if it was 250 mils, 200, you can kind of understand it. But I mean, 150 mils, unless this mask is magic, then I can forgive that. So this is a light mask. There's also a thick mask. So the thick mask is for very, very coarse hair. But for any mortal, I think light is perfect. This mask is gonna smooth the hair repair it and add shine just after the first use so we're going to see if my hair is a lot healthier and shinier and smoother after washing my hair with that it is weightless it is 98 percent naturally derived and also this mask is going to help the hair to protect it from future damage so we really have that bond strengthening technology in it that's going to strengthen the bonds that are broken during color and service so i mean this is this is actually a really good hair care so you guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera, I'm going to shampoo my hair, I'm going to tell you my thoughts. So you guys, see you in few. And we're back you guys after shampooing my hair using the Botanical Repair from Aveda. So what can I tell you, the scent is absolutely beautiful. It was really a pleasure to shampoo your hair with it. Now I will say that that product is highly concentrated, like literally a bit like fingertip size was enough to do my hair and I did do two shampoos and it just lathered up beautifully so you don't need much of that shampoo now the shampoo did not feel heavy in my hair so it's definitely a strengthened shampoo and it does what it's supposed to do when it came to the mask it's literally like butter going to your hair the hair feels amazing however it does not feel weighed down which I live for and it's not going to build up on the hair because this whole range is silicone free. Right you guys, let's move on to styling products and I am so excited about this product. And the styling product I will be trying out by Aveda is Texture Tonic by Aveda. So this is your classic blow drying texturizing tonic that is going to add definition to the hair. It's going to give that tousled result, bit of grittiness to the hair and just add that classic va va boom. It is perfect for that effortless undone look and I always love anything with texture that's going to give me texture because like that my hair is really really silky and straight. So let's talk about the active ingredients and the price of this product. We get 125 mils of products and this product retails for 24.50 which is could be better but I mean under 25 mils of product. We need to think about it that way. So we have three main ingredients in it. We have salt for definition in the hair. We have cane sugar for softness and basses for effortless texture. So I am so excited. I've heard nothing but good things about this product. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray that in. It's meant to be lovely just to spray it in and leave it in. Oh, it smells beautiful. Like that's one thing about a beta. I do love that. I do love their smell. Like that would be lovely if you have a bit of natural wave and just want to spray that in and just add that texture. See, like it's really easy to mold it into the hair. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go off camera and I'm gonna blow dry my hair now. And we're back you guys. Right, I am quite impressed with the texture tonic. 
Now, it did make my hair quite tacky when I was blow drying. That's probably my fault because I probably put too much in it. But, I mean, it did support the blow dry and it did give me that texture and the movement that I want in my hair. So, it's definitely working and it is good. But, it did make it tacky. I do think I kind of overdone the amount of product that I shoot. But, overall, I do think it's a good product. Like, we do get that nice movement and tousledness. Tousledness? Right, you guys, moving on to the last product. And the last product I will be trying out is Brilliant Emollient Finishing Gloss. So this is your classic serum by Aveda and we get 75 ml of product for 32 euro. 32 euro for a serum, basically, for 75 ml of serum, just to be exact. Now, so what is so special about this? It is a high gloss emollient and the active ingredient in it is a rice brand oil. However, this does contain silicone like most serums do. So it's not highly natural. Like it's, it's really a serum for shine and gloss and everything. Now it is medium to coarse hair, so it's not good for my hair. But apparently the shine out of this is meant to be perfect. And I never really test out serums. So let's just pop a tiny drop on my hand. Okay, let's smell it. Okay, it smells quite nice, quite quite natural. And I'm just gonna run that through my hair. I'm not really a fan of serums when it comes to my hair. Like my hair can't really take it, but... Is the shine here? No. Just a tiny bit for the sides maybe. Like it is nice, don't get me wrong, like it is nice, but like it's a serum. Do you know that kind of way? It is a serum and like my hair doesn't feel any way different than it would to any other serum. Right you guys, so let's recap on everything. Starting with the shampoo, dry shampoo, the essence is lovely. It's a really, really nice product and I like the way it's non-aerosol and it's good for styling product. Do I think it's overpriced? Yes, I do. Would I pay that money for it? Not for what it is, if, if you ask me personally. Moving to the Botanical Repair Shampoo. I think this shampoo is brilliant. I love that it's repairing, doesn't weigh the hair down. It smells absolutely gorgeous. It is highly concentrated. 31 euro for 200 ml of product, I mean. Now, it is really concentrated, so it's gonna last you a long time. And it is sulfate, silicone, and all that stuff free, which I actually really like. So I do think this shampoo is a hit. When it comes to the botanical repair mask, for 150 ml for 42 euro, I I think it's way overpriced. I would not spend that money on a mask, especially if I only get 150 ml of product. It could be slightly forgiven if there was like 250 ml of product, but I do think this is highly overpriced. Now the idea and the ethos behind it is absolutely brilliant, but however, I do think this is highly overpriced. The texture tonic did not fail me. I think it's a good product. I mean, it done what it's supposed to do. It gave me that tussled effortless result. I would probably just advise you to use a lot less than what I did. When it comes to the serum, I mean, it's 75 ml of serum for 32 euro. I mean, I didn't see anything exciting about the serum it was just okay i mean it is a serum and it has silicone so i don't know if they done something slightly different with it maybe take out silicone and replace it with like naturally derived silicone that maybe would have sold me more on it but i mean it's a serum that second ingredients is dematicone so i mean to me for 32 euro i don't think that's worth money anyways guys thank you for watching today's film i hope you found this film interesting helpful and useful please like share comment and subscribe to my channel also check out my other social media and of course you guys please 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 take care bye